How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to use Chromecast with an iPad. Basically how to use your iPad as a remote for your Chromecast. Now uh, all you have to do is have your Chromecast plugged in and set up and I have other videos on how to do that in case you haven't set yours up yet. Um, and you just have to be on the same wireless network. So make sure your iPad is connected to Wi-Fi as well as make sure your Chromecast is also connected to Wi-Fi. That's all you need to do and you can get started. So first I'm going to show you uh, Netflix. I'm just going to open up the app. Now make sure all your apps are updated. Um, I did was testing Pandora earlier because I didn't have it updated. It did not show what it needed to show. So make sure your apps are updated first or it will not work with the Chromecast. So all you have to do is look for this little symbol right here. This is your Chromecast symbol. Tap on there. And then um, it's going to ask you, do you want to play it on the iPad or on your Chromecast? Now, my Chromecast, I named it Bedroom Chromecast. So um, that's why that shows up there. Now I need to tap Bedroom Chromecast, and it will switch, and the TV will begin to connect to Netflix. Okay? Now, this means that the TV will be ready to play. Now I just have to pick something I want to watch. So I'm going to find something I want to play the Magic School Bus. So I'm going to tap it and then I'm going to tap play. Just pick any episode. And then it will begin to load on the TV. Okay, so there it is. It's playing. I can use my iPad to control the volume. It does. There is a little bit of a delay so you just got to kind of be aware of that. Now while it's playing, I can actually close that app and I can do other things while it is playing that. So that's the cool part about this. You can use your iPad to do other things. I can even go on Instagram if I wanted to while it's casting. And then when I'm finished, I'm going to go back to Netflix and I can hit stop right here. And it will stop the episode. And then if I want to um, turn off the casting so I don't see Netflix on the screen anymore, I'm going to tap the icon there and I want to tap on iPad. So play on iPad. And then uh, the screen should go off of uh, the Netflix um, stuff. Now, Netflix I found a little glitchy because like, Right now, the Chromecast is off because the uh, symbol is white. It's not blue, but sometimes it doesn't always take it off the screen right away. So uh, you can always unplug it, plug it back in. Just unplug the power and plug it back in if you want to get that off the screen. But it's not that big of a deal. Um, the other way is YouTube has been pretty uh, accurate. So if you go to YouTube, connect and disconnect then it will take it off the screen. Anyway, I want to show you a couple more apps. So I showed you the uh, video streaming. Now I want to show you how Pandora looks on here. So I'm going to open Pandora. And right now it's playing Beyonce. So I'm going to uh, tap the little Chromecast symbol, which is right here. Not that one, the one next to it. And I'm going to tap Bedroom Chromecast. And now the screen is going to change to a Pandora interface. Now, this is one thing I've noticed. Um, when I try to use the Pandora app, sometimes it does crash. So, like on the iPad, it crashed, but it is playing. So, just keep that in mind. I don't know if that's a glitch that they have to fix. But um, the, the station is selected, so it will continue to play through, um, you know, whatever channel you're on. Okay? And then I can go back to Pandora. Yeah. So Pandora is a little glitchy right now. They're going to probably do an update to fix that. But I'm going to just press Chromecast. Go back to iPad. So right now Pandora is kind of tripping on here. So, you know, can't really control that. That's just kind of some stuff with their app. So, if you want to get rid of Pandora and it's not responding on here, if we actually go to YouTube, we would turn on Chromecast. So actually it'll switch to the YouTube app and that will turn off Pandora. If you have any problems with that, I have noticed that there have been some issues with that. 
and then we could find uh, some YouTube video. And you're in the very excellent place, the Anchorman Two presses chocolate. How are you, Frau Abigail? Oh, I'm good. Boom. Okay, so right now I'm just picking a different video to play. I want to make a big. Now it's going to send that video, and once again, once you get the video playing, you can stop it and do other things. So we can close it. It will continue to cast and play. We're going to go back to YouTube. We want to stop it. Tap the cast, Chromecast symbol, and go back to iPad, and that will turn off. So if you have any problems with any apps freezing, if you do go to YouTube and switch to Chromecast and then switch it off, it will get you back to the, the Chromecast uh, home screen. So, um, again, this is a fairly new product, so it's a little buggy on some of the devices, but for the most part, I have seen it work pretty well. I think it's, it's been the most buggy on the iPad as, as I've seen so far. So, anyway, that's two apps there. And, um, yeah, so we showed Netflix, we showed Pandora, we showed YouTube. It also works with Hulu. I'm not going to show that one, but you just look for that Chromecast symbol, Okay. In fact, let me open it up real fast. Just so, again, that's the symbol you want to look for. When you see that, that's going to let you switch to your Chromecast and off of your Chromecast. So just keep that in mind. That's what you're going to look for. There are other apps that are available, uh, as well as the HBO Go, Vivo, and there's a whole big list of some other, like, kind of no-name apps that are there. And there's more apps that are being added every day. So um, this is how you use your iPad as a remote for your Chromecast. Hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if we did find it helpful. Subscribe to SU Tech videos and have a good one.